Good evening. President Lyndon Johnson is hopeful protests will remain calm as citizens continue to oppose both the war in Vietnam and segregation in schools. Tonight, stunning developments in our space program. During the Gemini 4 mission, an astronaut opened the hatch and propelled to the end of an 8 meter tether while orbiting the Earth over the Pacific Ocean. Someday, we hope to see a man walk on the moon. Finally, tonight, Hyde Park will be cutting the ribbon on the new high school that has state-of-the-art laboratories. The new school replaces the one that former President Franklin Delano Roosevelt helped to plan for his hometown. He dedicated that building in 1940 and it will now serve as Haviland Middle School. Thank you for tuning in. Good night. Hyde Park has a proud history. More than 50 years ago, the current FDR opened with state-of-the-art science labs. While adjustments have been made over the years, the district is now proposing significant upgrades to meet the current and future educational needs of our community. We want to fully support our students who are preparing to pursue high-paying, in-demand careers that require strong scientific skills and critical thinking. Yeah, so we have a lot of great technology, um, like smart boards, that are really great to use, but the limited space um, doesn't allow us to use them for their full potential. So, um, and equipment takes up a lot of our storage, so we're not able to do a lot of the labs we would like to do with the new equipment because there's just not enough space for it. So we have to do in the hallways or in other you know places around the school. This space really needs to be designed for the way we work today because when teachers uh, give certain demonstrations or lectures and we need to see like an example of it, we all have to crowd around the center table in order to see it and it's not really ever a comfortable situation. Yeah, there's a lot of times we don't get to finish labs because a lot of people are waiting at the sinks and nobody has time to finish and we have to wait during the day which is just taking up more class time. First, our lab tables don't really make sense anymore. Most of them are mounted to the floor and we can't move them around the way we need to when we work on certain experiments. In the rooms where they aren't mounted to the floor, there are electrical outlets that stick up and get in the way because we can trip on them. In chemistry, we use black eye shades because we need them for the experiments. There's not enough for everyone, and the ones we have aren't really working that well, so we need some more. Hi, welcome to our show, Let's Who is Trending. Megan? Thanks, Carly. First, I'd like to say I'm loving the new haircut. Oh, thank you. Twitter has just announced the top five trends for 2017, which include a lot of memes and many hashtags. Here's a new one for you, hashtag space travel. For only $250,000, you can become a space tourist. Wow, that's cheap. I know. With the Virgin Galactic Group, you can go see what's out there. Back on Earth, we now head to our field reporter, Jane Doe, who is live at FDR High School in New York to report on science labs that were built before man had ever landed on the moon. Thanks guys, I'm here with Sydney who's going to give us a 411 about the science labs here at the school. Sydney, what's the buzz about? Well Jane, it's really exciting. High Park will be voting on a proposal to update the science labs at FDR. It'd be great if we could modernize the classrooms to accommodate the college level classes we have. We have five AP classes already and science is so important for so many careers. Thanks Sydney, that's all I've got for you. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Jane. That sounds like a project that the community could really support. Thank you for watching and have a great night. Good night, everybody. Please stay involved and invested in the Hyde Park Central School District as we prepare our students for the future. For more information, please visit our website, hpcsd.org.